What's up guys? Welcome back to my live stream. It's been a long long time since my live stream. I think it was two weeks ago. So I'm back. I'm back for some questions. I'm back for a new watercolor. I'm still trying to improve my watercolor skills. I'm not the best yet. So hope you enjoy it and maybe you can ask me something and maybe you can teach me something about watercolors. I really love it. So let me show you what I want to do today. So I've got this image as a reference. I think it's pretty cool. It's going to be a bit simple. Just the reds, orange, a bit of greenish, but I still don't know how I'm going to use it. Uh, but I'm going to use this photo as a reference. I really love this one. So I want I want to put the background in black as well. I want the the drawing to be I don't say darker than this one, but I, I want to have more power than that one. So if I put the, the background in black, it will give a lot of contrast and will be cool. So yeah, hope you you like it and let's start drawing. Tell me if the internet is good, tell me if you can hear me well, if you can hear the song. I'm still not sure if you can hear me well. But yeah, I hope you like it and let's get started. Maybe we can speak a bit more about the, the reference. I'm not sure who was the, the artist that did this, did this one. I just look up for watercolor portrait in the Google and this came up. It's pretty cool, it's simple and it's lovely. I really love the, the blue eyes with a big contrast with the, the red and yeah I think it's going to, to look great at the end. So let's start with this. I have already two cups filled with water, one with dirty water from my early watercolors and a clean water. It's always good to have both. So if you use black or some darker colors you don't uh, use in the clear water. It's also good to have always a lot of paper in watercolor because you want to always clean your pencils while uh, while painting and it's always good to clean up the the painting as well you can't erase actually but you can do something with it and yeah welcome welcome if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and let's start let me just open the image over here so i can see the shot if you are seeing it or not and yeah so let's start in the morning I was painting already in watercolors, it went really good. I mean, it, <laughs> I didn't paint what I wanted, but it went awesome, I think. Oh, I have my all my pencils with black ink. It's not good for this one. Okay, this is clean. So tell me where are you from, tell me what do you think about art in general, what is your favorite kind of art, if it's watercolor, if it's oil painting. Hello, hello, I I'm great. And you, Leloy Karm? It's been a while, right? Since my last stream. So I'm start. I'm going to start with the air. It's it's really long air. So just add water, a bit of color. As I said, I want the air really, really uh, bright, and I don't want to use as much color as. Hello, Hokia. Mohamed, where are you from? Welcome to the stream, I think it's the first time 
you are seeing one of my streams. Thank you for being here. And if you have any questions, just ask me. I'll be here for quite a while now to answer all of your questions and to have fun painting this watercolor. So I've been noticing that it's really cool to paint in watercolor because I'm not a really good painter in watercolors. I can't control all of it. So when I start drawing, I have something in my mind, but that's never the end result of the drawing because I can't control it and I just have to improvise while I'm using the, the ink. And yeah, but I'm having a really, really good fun and really good time painting watercolors. So if you have any advice that you can give me in watercolors, it would be awesome. Right now I'm just using orange and yellow. So we can have almost white air. I don't know if you can see well the colors because it's really, really bright and it's almost only water so tell me more about you guys I've already know Laloy she's always here supporting me and it's so good to have her back all the, in all the live streams Tell me something about you, do you like to paint as well or you just like to watch live paintings? It's been a, an amazing week for me because one of my friends here on YouTube just got 1 million followers and 1 million followers it's amazing i'm really happy for him Zanyush. hi bell Zanyush bell how are you welcome here on my live stream do you speak portuguese or yeah you must speak portuguese because Zanyush, i think it's only in portuguese that you say So let me see if you can see the colors. Yeah, actually you can see pretty much. I, I know it doesn't look much, but it's good like this. I really like. And can you hear me well? Because I'm not sure if you can hear me now. It's pretty sunny today, so I'm getting the sun in my, my back and it's really hot. Hola, hola, Ergigia. Hi, Ergigia. Welcome. So today I'm doing a watercolor. I was speaking earlier that I really want to try to improve my watercolors so I think the best way is to have some reference while you are painting and right now I've I've searched watercolors paint, painting in Google and I've chosen my favorite ones and right now I'm looking at some reference so I can make it good or something cool and for the air, I'm just using yellow and orange. 
I want to it to be a bright air. So no one tells me if you can hear me or not. I'm not sure. So if you are watching, just comment that you can hear me. It will be awesome from you. Oh, and I forgot, this is going to be a mixed star painting, I'm, I'm going also to to paint with the pen, black pen, as you would normally see in my drawings, just black pen, and maybe I'll join some Posca pen. This pen actually, this Poshka pen saved me today. I can show you what I did this morning. Just wait a second. Uh, I did this one. I don't know if you can see it where, but the white Poshka saved me big time. Hope you like it and the video probably will be live tomorrow so you can't miss it. So I can show you now that you are watching my reference, it's this one, I don't know the, the artist but right now comparing to mine I can see that I need to add some red to the air instead of the orange but really really light, but as you can see I'm not copying the the image because I'm looking at this photo as reference so yeah hope you can join me and hope you can help me through this journey let's see what you say yeah we can hear you yes thank you Nar and I and welcome Max on drawings hi thank you all for watching let's continue Yeah, the red is going to look cool. Over here. Over here. I'm thinking that I'm going to add a lot of black ink in the in the air. So where are you guys from? So you are bu busy by things at the home so I can communicate well. <laughs> Don't worry, it's really good to have you here just watching and just hear me. But you know, if you have any questions, you, you can just ask. And I'll be here. So... Right now I think I'm overusing the colors in the air because I want the air as bright as possible because I'm going to add some black in the background so it will be a lot of contrast and yeah just adding some random hairs over here okay so let's go to the actually portrait Just going to try to use just one color, just red, uh, so I can give it a pinkish look.
Hey Fonz, welcome. Fonz Sweet's actually my brother. And thank you for watching me while you are working. Another thing that I find really hard in watercolors is to know when to stop because <laughs> I just can't know it for sure when I should stop, when it's already good or not or what could I add. So I think it's, it's with experience that I will get there. But right now the really struggler, struggle is to to find the colors that I love and to know how to use them. So any of you guys have any experience with watercolors or any advice any advice that you can give me? It'll be really cool if you can help me. Okay. Another thing that I love about watercolors is that you need to do a lot of steps to get uh, where you want to be in the, the final artwork so you start with the, the light colors then you go to darker and darker and darker and you have to do a lot of steps and you have to imagine it, imagine how you want it to look like at the end and that's I think it's awesome because you need to think about it and you to practice and to know what you do so yeah, that's another thing that I love in watercolors. Italiano no sono nece bravo in inglese, pero mi interessa molto. Uh, hola Ernie, o parlo un poco italiano, no parlo molto. <laughs> I'm just mixing Italian and Portuguese and Spanish. But yeah, welcome and if you have any questions, I'll try to answer in your language. I mean, I just know English, Portuguese, a bit Spanish, a bit, a bit uh, French. But yeah, I'll try to to answer all the questions. Uh, Ergi, eu não capito o mim que a tua dito. That's all I know to say in Italian. Okay, so right now I want to use I would love to use a greyish color, but I don't know how to make grey in watercolors. I would love to to have like some reddish looking grey. Let's see, maybe joining a bit of purp uh, of brown. And tell me if the music is good or not, or if you will prefer if I want to take down the music.
So another thing about watercolors is that you must have good paper. I mean, I don't say about expensive paper, but you should have a paper just for watercolors that you can use it with a lot of water and it maintains the shape. Uh, tell me how to say hi in Arabic. I'll try to learn. Why not? I think I've got a lot of followers in Arabic, so it will be awesome to, to know how to say something. Another thing about watercolor is that you need to be really, really patient and to know to wait uh, for the ink to dry. Because if you want, if you want to be always drawing and painting, you'll be messing up with the colors while it's still wet, and that's not good. It's so hard to paint with watercolors, man. Uh, it's always or too wet or too dry. Just keep positive and just <laughs> try to practice gas. So, tell me guys where I'm from, I've already know Laloi and Ergi, that's Italian, so a part of them, where I'm from guys. Draw me please, hello Najiha. Where are you from? Malaysia, Malaysia. Actually, I don't know how to speak Malaysia now. My, uh, so it's another language that it will be awesome to learn. But hope you understand English, so you can ask me everything. Right now, I'm just trying to improve my watercolors. Hope you have just fun and helped me learning more about watercolors because 
I can't paint in watercolors. And guys, it will be amazing if you just invite a friend to come over and say hi. Because right now I, I'm also trying to grow my YouTube channel. And I think everyone can help me by just sharing and tell a friend that I'm live. Maybe they will love it and maybe they can subscribe. And guys, do you think I should add some blue to the to the ad to make the the drawing a bit cold? Because right now it's just yellow, orange, and red, and it's making the the drawing really really hot in terms of colors. Maybe it will be fun to have some blue. I mean, the eyes are going to be blue, so that will help, but maybe something more. And if you know me, you probably know that my favorite color is blue. Okay, the lips are looking good, I think. <laughs> and let's go to the to the eyes. So for the eyes, I don't have the the best blue. Hi, it's right like an Arabia, but it's the same pronunciation in English okay so now I know how to say hi so let's let's try to make a blue really really light blue for the eyes guys if you are learning how to draw I will recommend you to to give all the attention to the eyes because if you know how to draw the eyes, it's half step to, to a great drawing. Right now I'm not sure what I'm doing, but as I said, I'm still learning. Those are not the best eyes. I think it's it's good enough for now. I'm still not sure if we should should add any blue to the drawing to the face at least okay so right now the blue is it's looking a bit gray so that's okay So 
see you late bye Ergi thank you for watching and see you in the next time hope you like it don't forget to subscribe if you are new <laughs>
Estou a fazer o live, querida, já posso ligar? Ah, é verdade, tá, liga na posição. Vai lá, vai lá, tá. Até já. Até já. So, how old I am? I'm 24 years old. How about you? How old are you? are 22 and they like to, to draw or paint what's your style your favorite style of Jasmine Sanders yeah I, I still think that drawing was one of my favorite too and one of my best ones till now I should probably make more of them to practice I really think it looked amazing as well. Guys, I'm start to rushing you a bit because I hate when you have something in mind and the drawing is not still there because you need to add or the, the black or something so right now I'm rushing it so I can see how it's looking with the black but I probably shouldn't do this starting with the pen this earlier but let's <laughs> let's see Actually, I've got here the, the drawing of Jasmine. It's this one, right? It looks amazing. But... This is going to look amazing as well, so... Stay there and help me to make this drawing amazing. So it's quite confusing, right? I know, I know. I'm not sure of it yet. Uh, 
that. <coughs> Let's just keep drawing. Sorry to be in front of the camera, but in the details I can see really well in the far. Just want, just want to make it cool. So. Guys, you are too quiet. I'm getting scared because if you are quiet, it means that you are not liking the, the drawing or it means what? Just tell me. If you have any advice or I'm doing it wrong, just say it. Don't make me suffer. What the fuck happened here? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so now I know this is looking really bad, this point right here. Uh, I have no idea what to do, so I'll just keep drawing and then I'm going to see it again and see what I can do to make it better. But it's not looking good right now.
Okay, so let's try to make this looking a bit better by doing some curves over here and right here making the opposite curve nope <laughs> still not looking good so just keep drawing guys just keep drawing don't overlook or the mistakes Okay guys, I want to try something, it might be the worst thing that, that I'm going to do in this drawing, but it can be the best to, thing that I'm going to do in this drawing. So I'm going to paint the background and paint it black so it can give me more contrast to the drawing. I missed so much, sorry I wasn't look to the to the chat. So I actually do not know most of the people or celebrities you draw, but I like them. Oh, that's nice. Actually, I don't know this girl, Jasmine, I just found uh, her name in Instagram, I think. And normally in the portraits that I do in the with the black pen, it's or singers or actors that did some new movie and that's why I'm painting them, but in the watercolors I don't want to to force it look like a celebrity because I know I can't make it perfect but yeah I'm having more fun about painting some unknown people that people that I don't know but yeah I was saying ah sorry the chat no it looks nice I missed so much he's already so far in the painting <laughs> Oh, okay, so you came back. Well, I, I think I'm doing it very slow, actually. It's already 48 minutes that I've started this painting. And sometimes I, I take one hour, and other times I take less. But, okay. So, wish me luck. I'm. I'm going to start with the left side because I need to, my arm to rest and it will be better if I start with the back with this side. Uh, I'm just using it here and over here. Probably I will need a lot of more. So I've already this paper, this toilet paper, because I know I'm going to mess up this at some point. So I'm just being prepared for the worst. Probably if I had more experience with the watercolors, I will just try to make uh, a gradient background. So it won't be all black. That will be better for the drawing. Here I'm going to draw her shirt as well, black, black as well, I mean. Try to give some space to the messy hair. Over here, I'm not sure 
and just leave like this. Hi Yogi, hello again. So now the right and so probably now with the black you will be able to see that the drawing is not in the center of the the page but I did that on purpose because at the end I want to add the white Posca pen and give it give more effects to the to the air man it's so good to paint with the black 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 I don't know how to explain but it's really really good so what do you think do you think it's looking good with the black The problem now is that I will have to wait for the black to, to dry. So I'll be able to answer some questions and talk to you. Okay, as I told you, the drawing is more powerful now and I'm quite impressed because I have no idea how I didn't mess up with the black normally it's black everywhere and and it's just bad <laughs> some details okay, I'm going to add some black over here as well See, probably these where I've messed up. I shouldn't have done that. But I hope with the, the Poshka I can undo the, the mistake. So I'm going to just wait now and talk to you and see what can I do better so right now i'm not looking i'm not loving the the face because it's too white i want more contrast so i'll just add some reds And let's check out the chat. Never knew black can add so much focus. Yeah, the black it's amazing if you want some really good contrast in the drawing. Because uh, as I'm using really really light colors in the face and the, in the in the actually hair, it's good to have some powerful color to give some contrast to the portrait I don't know if I, I explaining well but yeah that's how it is just and don't be afraid to add the black the black it's always a good saver and have in mind that if you add the black you can't go back but probably if you are thinking 
using the black it's because it's a good decision and don't be afraid so what I don't like from now I don't like the face because it doesn't have any contrasts at all I want it with more power and I think it's not getting the power because I'm just using the red and try to make it a bit realistic and probably I should have add some purple so it gives more power and something different to look at I know for sure that I can't make it realistic so adding blue or purple to the drawing is me saying okay I don't know how to draw I won't try to make it perfect and as you can see uh, it's just my imagination and that's one way to tell everyone that you are not trying to make it perfect and that's a good excuse okay okay right now I'm feeling it's too, too much red. And I'm just keeping adding, adding some red. Last time I tried black, I had to redraw, so black is kind of most unused in my water paint. Do Niraj, do you have. Um, a YouTube channel or something where I can check your watercolors, I would love to see it. And yeah, the black, it's it's a, a big decision to add some red in the watercolors. So. Okay, right now I'm going to use, try to use what I've discovered like half an hour ago is that if I join the red with the blue it's going to make a kind of grayish and that's good to use it over here so the red of the lips stands out instead of the shadow that will be a bit grayish and it's not looking grayish but never mind <laughs> it's looking good as well just trying to use this technique everywhere I've got shade okay you don't have a channel, I just draw and post in Facebook or Instagram, then delete and then post. Hey Butterfly123, welcome! Uh, hola butter Butterfly, eu, eu hablo un poquito español. Eh, gracias que tu estás viendo and gracias. Yeah, I need to check your Instagram, Niraj. Uh, I'm sure I've already seen it, but right now I can't remember, sorry. Uh, and probably I, I, it will be amazing if I do some kind of pause and I'm just going to see your 
artwork. Yeah, do it and I'll check it right away. Just text me comments when you've done it and I'm just going to the phone and check it out. Guys, you are too quiet. Are you liking the portrait? Man, it's art. Okay, same. Let's see what Evie sent me. Just give me a second, just let me finish this part because I think I've messed up. Just give me a second, I will uh, check out. Uh, hablas español, hablas es bien español, gracias. Yo soy portugués uh, y, y nosotros decimos que hablamos portuñol. No es español, pero es portuñol. Mira, just give me a second so I can finish this part of the face and I'll check it out. I've already got the notification here, so don't worry, I'll check it out. No, no, I want to check it out today in the live so we can speak a bit about it and that will be awesome. Oh, that's awesome, I hope you can learn something because I'm trying to learn as well. So it's awesome if we are two learning, trying to learn.
Okay, we are closer. Not there yet, but I think we are closer. Do what I wanted to do. Okay, I'm also reusing this gray that I've made, that I have no idea how I've made it, but I wanted to make some gray. And I'll check it out, Don't for I'm not forgetting it, I'm sorry, but you knew I wanted gray, and now I have gray. Grayish, it's not gray, but I how do you get the sh shade same? When I use water paint, I get either too dark or too different than before. I know uh, it's the same with me. If you don't think that's happening, I think it's because of the camera. Because I said I wanted gray when, and then I started painting, painting, and it was red. So I think that's the point and exactly where I want to improve is in in the color making because I can't yet still uh, think about a color and make it straight away and if I mean, not if, it's always or too dark or it's all, I think it's all about controlling the amount of water you use because if it's too dark just with the pencil on the water and hope it gets a bit lighter. I should have drawn the black here. Okay, now that I've joined some black, I can check out my phone to see your posts. Yeah, I live in Lisbon and my house is quite near to, to the airplane and actually you can, can hear the, the planes over here. But if I close the window, it's a bit better. But right now it's too hot to to have the the, the window closed. Sorry about that. Hope you don't mind about the planes. Just try to think that whenever a plane just land in Portugal, there are a lot of happy people. Okay, Niraj. 
So let me try if I can show his drawing. Okay. So what I think what I love about this drawing is the colors. You just use my favorite colors, which is the blues and the purples. I think in the watercolors are the most beautiful colors to use. Uh, I don't know where do you prefer. Here it's the best one. It's the best color that you, that you can use it. But I'll try to paint the face with the blue and the purple and try to make maybe the air in a different color or maybe in a color that adds some more contrast. And I love the flowers, it adds a lot of colors. The only thing I would say is that it's kind of difficult for me as well. It's when you add the blue and the purple together, the only color that doesn't join as well is the green. And I wouldn't use this green at least. Today I did one drawing that I have no idea how I've made it but the green looks really really good but sometimes I don't I don't know it's, uh, it's it was lucky for me because when I joined the green this drawing I was thinking okay I'm going to mess up the drawing and let's see how it's going but yeah I love the drawing let me see more. It looks cool. It looks like uh, the face is kind of a space, and that's why the blue and the, the purple join it together. It's always good because it reminds us the space. And yeah, so guys, if you are uh, watching me now, you can just text me or send me a photo on Instagram or add the link in the chat so I can see your drawing and maybe we can talk and I'll say what do I think right now I'm just trying to to finish this watercolor <laughs> actually I'm just seeing that you can see any colors in this drawing but in real life it's a bit colorful not that much but it's a bit more saturated and I'll just keep making it. So if you have any questions or something, just ask me. I'm here happy to, to answer all the questions. Okay, let's continue. Another thing about the air is that you should spend as much time as you can in the air because what gives the air the realistic look is the amount of detail that you, you are using and if you are spending a lot of time in the air it probably will look amazing and that's what I've discovered but it's the part that the drawing I don't like to do, it's the air, because I prefer to spend lots of time in, in the eyes instead of the air, but at the end of the day the air is as, impor as, as important as, as the eyes I think. So try not to make any shortcuts.
pintas hermoso, gracias butterfly. Mira, you. Uh, I didn't get what did he say. Mirage, sorry. I think that you said that you have seen already my drawing in the Instagram, but no, you haven't. I I've done that drawing in the morning and I didn't post yet so I'm going to try to add some more contrast over here. Probably I should paint it gray or maybe even black. Oh, thank you. Okay, I understand now. Yeah, even I wanted to to try to explain something harder or more in detail with the right color names. I don't know the right color names. Because I've always learned and tried to understand that you can make all the colors with just yellow, blue and red. And if you can make all the colors with just three colors, you don't have to know their names to buy that exactly color because just make it make it with the three colors. Okay. So
<laughs> I'm glad here my dog asking for some best to open the camera. Okay. Get for a content. So I didn't understand why did you paint the neck black? Isn't red should be there? Isn't red? Uh, okay, right now, yeah, the neck is not looking good. Just wait a bit more. Actually, you are right. I should add more red to it, but it's easy to add the reddish. We will get there. We will see what I want to do with it in a bit. But yeah, right now the neck is not looking really, really good. Guys, let me see if I can add more saturation to the video. Uh, you prefer like this? Maybe like this? No, it's too much and I have no idea how to control that. Yeah, no, I'm not using this. Okay, back to the drawing. Where's the own Escola de Arte? See, you yesterday in Bellas Artes. Entiendes, Bellas Artes? Pero. Yo a fui un terrible alumno. My dog, yeah, I have an amazing dog. I think the black is already dry, so uh, every dog is cute except the doorbell man. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of true. So my dog's name is Bolt, and uh, is really really fast, and that's why he's Bolt. Porque fuiste mal aluno. Porque yo no fui mal aluno, pero yo ya sido el peor alumno de artes. Eh, eh, después ha practicado, practicado, eh, estoy aquí. 
Okay guys, so I'm going to use the white Porsche. Actually, I can't wait for it uh, because it makes amazing things. You will see it. What is that pen that I'm using? Okay, so if you don't know this pen, you probably should find and try to buy some. It's called Posca and it's an amazing pen. You can paint in everything. You can paint in cars, you can paint in surfboards, you can paint everywhere. So it's an amazing pen for just painting over black and everything. So try to find the Poshka and you will get improve your drawings by far in a second. Okay, so the neck is not dried yet. Going to the mouth, I just realized that I need to add a lot of detail in the mouth. It's really behind. So let's, let me check what you are saying. Hello, is it only me who is leaves dropping using Google Translate Spanish to English? Are <laughs> you try to understand what I said in Spanish? <laughs> I was saying that uh, I've studied in fine art school, but I didn't learn as much as I wanted there. I practically I learn everything by myself uh, because I mean it, it was a great school but 
I didn't know what, what I loved to do and I was kind of the worst student in class not because I didn't want I was the worst because I had an amazing colleagues studying there as well I'm 24 years I 23 years old I mean Alguma vez pintaste em parede com esses marcadores? Supostamente também são para parede. Eu tenho ônus, mas nunca tentado fazer isso porque não sei se vai funcionar. Eu he pintado em uma jaqueta e yeah, funciona. É incrível. So I was saying that I've tried to use that black pen to paint in my jacket, my leather jacket and it worked. It looked amazing. I'm going to try to make the neck right now. Okay, looks like it's working. So your artwork is beautiful. Okay, I'm I'm 21 and studying mechanical engineering. And in my past three years, I really got into painting and drawing, mostly because of Instagram and trying to learn free of cost since then. Yeah, I've tried to learn as well free costs because I mean I've studied in fire and art school, but everything I've learned in painting was just by myself and trying to improve it was exactly as you looking at the instagrams and and yeah that's why i mean not why that's how i've learned it's it's simple as that if you learn drawing you just try to learn everything by yourself because you'll try to to learn with the people you love Okay, so I 
I am not happy with this part of the drawing. Man, it's so hard to get the watercolors to do what you are thinking and to make it exactly how we want. You can hear the plane, right? No, I didn't left. I finished my my graduation, but I've studied art in multimedia, so a lot of everything that I learned is more about multimedia. It was in in Photoshop, in editing movies, photography. And don't take me wrong, uh, fine art school it's amazing to learn, you will learn a lot there. I'm just saying that if you are waiting to be in a school to learn how to paint it's not for you because if you love to paint you just should start drawing and should try to learn something on the internet. because you don't have to have a teacher to learn everything Okay guys, I think that's it. Oh man, you can see almost any of the colors. Probably I don't have enough light. Maybe you can see it better like this. Escribite inglés. Uh, ok, yes, take off the landing very quickly. Yo iba a inglés, pero deje por ir a la escuela de arte y ahora me arrepiento. Ok, I'm sorry, I mean, misunderstood what you said earlier. And it's so beautiful. Ok, butterfly, I'm not other understanding what you are saying yo iba a inglés pero deje por ir a la escuela de arte y ahora I didn't understand what you said but the flies sorry do you have any exhibition to display or sell your paintings not yet I'm just trying as 
I'm saying I'm just trying to learn as much as I can I don't see myself as an artist yet I, I want to, to learn before I do an exhibition and I mean I think I I've already enough drawings to make an exhibition and that will be amazing but for now I just want to try to grow my YouTube page I guess and see if I can uh, tr try to grow my YouTube page and see if I can get a lot of subscribers because it will be amazing to be doing an exhibition with the Instagram and the YouTube followers Max on drawings very good thank you did you just join the the streaming Okay guys, I'll try to add some different kind of red to the mouth because I want the mouth to pop, it, pop up and right now it's just the same color as everything else I mean, probably I won't be able to make it in a different color maybe with more red to pop up the same thing in the eyes I wanted more red so the eyes can pop up I love your style, thank you butterfly, but actually this is not my style, <laughs> I mean, if you are referring to the scribble art, thank you, that's my style, and in watercolors I'm just trying to find out my style. Okay, right now I'm trying to add more color to the drawing. In person I think it's already good, but when I look at the stream I can see it that it's not really colorful. And I want this make I want this to be perfect for you guys, not for me. So I'm trying to add more colors, make it a bit beautiful for you guys.
Guys, what do you think? The best thing about drawing live is that I can get instant feedback if you're liking or not the drawing. That's the best thing I can ask. It's instant feedback. Make it poppy, more contrast, yay. Exactly. What is my favorite painting to do? Mm. Uh, my favorite pa painting. What do you mean? If I love watercolors? It was already good in half way, now it's really beautiful. You have the realistic look. Thank you. As I said before, the realistic look wasn't what I wanted to make in the beginning but then it was the best thing I could do to make the eyes a bit bluish the thing is I don't have here a good blue or not a good blue a beautiful blue this one I went to English but stopped going because I enter an art school and now I can't write you, <laughs> but I'm sure that you are uh, loving the art school as well, so yeah, we can still speak.
I've got here my dog asking for some attention. But Okay guys, I think that's it. Well, come back, come back. Okay, look here. What do you think? What do you think? Versus, let's read the comments world. So it's really amazing. We are not able to express ourselves properly because it's English and not our first language. Exactly. But we all speak art and that's good. So I think we understand each other very well. Oh, no. Sorry guys, I'm just when I look at the stream and I see the drawing I just look at things that I can improve. And that's why I always say, okay, I think that I'm done, and then I'm not done, and then I come back. So, yeah, let's sign this. It's the first time I'm going to sign in, in a white pen. So... Guess 17. Here it is. Let me show in the camera. Oh, now in the camera you can see it better, right? Yeah, so that's how I see it. It's a bit more colorful. Here you can see actually really good, but yeah, you can see some details. And yeah, where are my rings? Oh, I forgot my rings. They are over here. Sorry, sorry. It was my bad. So I've got a wolf ring. I've got the Japanese one. I've got the skull. And I've got another Japanese. And I've got a lot of more rings I have all over here laid down for me to use thanks I should have noticed that in the beginning I think I was nervous and I forgot the rings but thank you so si tengo que usar el traductor en google en algunas palabras si pero de donde es butterfly tu eres espanol mesmo o Oh, argentino, venezolano, porque eh, una cosa boa para aprender a hablar inglés es uh, regar, watch, ver eh, muchos filmes en inglés con, su, con subtítulos, con leyendas. Ok, I took off my ring so I can show you. In more detail, the drawing, I'm going to disappear so you can see it better. So, it's here the drawing. So if I uh, was starting again the drawing or if I could erase something, I will do this eye again. As you can see, it's not good as this one and there's something strange. The nose, it's quite good. It's nothing as the is nothing similar as the phone, the photo, but it looks cute. The mouth, uh, the mouth. Actually, I can make it better now because the teeth are very hard to make it, and the sh sh shades shadows in the mouth are also hard to make I probably will make more shadows here so it looks a bit more realistic 
and probably over here as well. Yeah. And make it. See, it's always good to see the drawing on a camera because we will find a lot of things that you will change that your eyes can't see in the moment. I don't know if I'm explaining right, but try to see from another perspective, it's really good and helps a lot. So, okay. The air. Well, it was my first time trying to make these doodles in the air looks good but i need to improve like some when this happens this is not looking really cool i have no idea how to make it look better and yeah hope you like it hope to argentino ah great uh, hope to see in the next live stream and Tell me if you have any questions. And let's put the camera again. Oh, no. This camera. And put me big, 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 big. And it's me. And you have here the drawing. I think the better this camera is really good with the colors. So, uh, Laloi, thank you for watching. You are always watching my live streams and thanks. Ergi, it's good. Thank you. And thank you for trying to, to watch the live stream. It was really good to have you here. Niraj, thank you so much for being here and to support me and to comment all the stream. It was really good to have you here with me. It was nice to meet you. Uh, if you want to send me more photos on Instagram uh, that I, you want me to comment or to, to show in the stream, you can do it. It will be awesome. And anyone can send me photos on Instagram. I will be able to to show on the stream and to comment to say what do I think and yeah probably probably today I'm not going to post uh, a video but tomorrow I will post this video as I showed you before it's a different one it looks nice and yeah guys don't forget to to comment on my videos it's going to be a big help to to explode my YouTube channel, comment what do you think, who should I draw next, Com comment everything. Butterfly, soy Paula, hola Paula, prazer en conocerte, perdón, mi nombre me lo puse por bromear. Paula, nice to meet you, well please post it, I'll post it tomorrow, and yeah guys, See you in the next live stream, I'll try to post more often and see you guys, see you next time, it was awesome to have you here, bye!